Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Charlotte and I do weekly vlogs, travel vlogs, hauls, loads of fun videos. So if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to press that subscribe button to see all my future stuff. Okay, so I am off to Florida in two days. Yay! I'm so excited. Well, actually it'll be tomorrow for you guys because this is going up on Thursday so I just thought I would show you all the stuff I'm packing for Orlando slash Disney World because I am going to Disney World how exciting yes cannot wait so I love to pack a week in advance that's just me my mum's exactly the same we just love to be prepared so just in case anything is missing from the suitcase we can check a few days before I just can't be one of those the night before people it's just not me I need to be prepared so for the purpose of this video I basically unpacked my suitcase so that you can see what's in my suitcase makes sense okay good because <laughs> it looks like a bomb's hit my room that is why my room's a mess I've just got stuff hanging up there um bits on the chair bits on my bed it was all in my suitcase guys I promise but I just I just thought it would be an easier way for me to show you what I've got in my suitcase so let me start off by showing you my suitcase. So it is from Trip Luggage. They have a concession in Debenhams and I think they've got their own website as well. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but they've definitely got a concession in Debenhams because that's where I've got mine. It is super sturdy. I've had it for so long. It is such a great suitcase. They're just a great luggage company altogether. And I love this color. It's like a ready pinky color super nice you can spot it when it comes off the conveyor belt which is great let me just show you the inside so you've got this zip compartment here so you can put all your stuff behind there you've also got this zip compartment to put like appliances like your hair dryer whatever um this is ripped though oops um and then obviously you've got this compartment which has got actually let me show you this side it's got the strap here to stop it from moving around um, got my underwear don't need to see that and let me show you the bags that I've got in my suitcase to take so I have got this bum bag which is from Topshop I got this recently I'm loving this I'm just loving bum bags at the moment this is my first bum bag that I've had in so long since probably a kid and I just love this one because it's not like your typical bum bag style if that makes sense like it looks like a normal bag but it's on like a belt and you can take the belt off I think as well so that would be really nice to wear with jeans like sorry not jeans denim shorts um I've even got some cycling shorts which I'll show you so you can wear it around the waist and on the hips so yeah loving this bag and it's black so it'll go with everything so yeah and then this bag's from Topshop as well I got this for Christmas, I think. My mum got me for Christmas, yeah. Um, I just love the pearls on this. And then it's got like a chain strap so it can go over your shoulder. And that will just be nice in the evenings or if I want a bigger bag for the day. So yeah, I love that one. And then this one I absolutely love. I haven't used it yet, but my cousin got it for me for my birthday last year. And it is the American flag bag from Skinny Dip, which you can get in Topshop as well, I think. I think they've got their own standalone store and online shop, but it's so cool. I love it. And it's heart shaped. It is just wicked. So I can't wait to use that on holiday. And then I've got a nice sort of designer bag, which I haven't used, which is Coach New York. And it's this really cute um, wrist bag. So this goes around your wrist. Let me just show you. So it hangs like that. And it's so sparkly. It's gold and it's got like little stars in it. I haven't used this either. I got this for Christmas. My mum got it for me and I just love it. So that'd be really nice if we've got any sort of posh dinners. I think we're going to the Cheesecake Factory so I might take that when we go there. Super cute. I've also got this belt as well. I'm just gonna take one belt because I don't need to take a hundred black belts. So that would just be good for my shorts, my denim shorts. Um, because sometimes, because I'm bigger around the bum. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm bigger around the bum than I am on top. So sometimes when they're high-waisted shorts, they're a little bit baggy around the top. So I just like to put a belt around them just to cinch in the waist. So yeah, so I'm just gonna take this belt. 
Okay, so let me show you the bikinis and swimming costumes that I'm taking with me. So first up is this swimming costume, which is from Jaded London. Absolutely love this. It looks like a necklace on the front. So love this. I got this a few years ago. I don't know if they still do it. They might have something similar though, but it is just to die. Literally love this swimming costume. And then it's like just a cross strap at the back. So it's super low cut at the back. Um, it's not too bum revealing if you don't like your bum being shown. Um, yeah, there's not much more I can say about it. Just super cute. Um, Next, I've got this new one from Urban Outfitters. Let me, sorry, let me just check the brand because I don't think it's actually Urban Outfitters. Oh, so the brand's called Out From Under and it's this really lovely, if you know me, you know I love the lemon prints. So yeah, I went for a lemon print swimming costume and it looks like a bikini, like a high-waist bikini. So you've got like the bikini top, you've got the cut out front and then like the high-waisted bottom. But yeah, it is just so nice. And then this clip, this clips together, but I just haven't got it clipped. And it's open at the back. And then it shows your bum a little bit, but not too bad. But I don't mind showing my bum because I've got a big bum. It just always, I can never cover it. <laughs> so let's be honest. Um, yeah, loving that. That's brand new. So you might be able to still get that on Urban Outfitters website. And then swimming costumes. If you've seen my ASOS haul, you would already seen this. It's this bikini. So these are the bottoms. And this is the top. Really nice one for tanning. No straps. So it won't be great if I was going to the water parks. But I just love this print. It's like a multicoloured print. And then there's a stripe at the top. And then the pants uh high legged which is great which i love if you know me you know i love a high leg swimming costume and yeah oh i forgot to say where it was from um it's from asos did i say i can't remember sorry guys if i said already then my i'm just having a brain blip um yes that's from asos um and then this one's also from asos so this is the top so pretty i love the flowers on this so it's like a electric blue yellow and pink bikini top so pretty and then high legged high waisted pants love it love 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 so they're two new bikinis that i haven't worn before this is an old one but a goodie this is from a brand called boho rose and they do sort of 80 style um bikinis so once you see this you'll know what I mean so it's this sort of I can't feel what it's called like a flannel material and this is the top it's just like a basic sort of band top this is my um tanning bikini that I wear all the time but yeah it's just so stretchy look it's all right if I put any weight on on holiday <laughs> but yeah it's just super cool they do so many different colors um yeah, I just, I just think it's so comfy as well. And yeah, go and check Boho Rose out for if you want something different, you want sort of a vintage style bikini, even though, to be fair, a lot of high leg bikinis are in these days. But when I got this, it wasn't really the thing. And I don't really like low cut bikini bottoms because I've got a short body. No, sorry, I've got a long body and short legs. God, my brain today. Um, so yes, yeah, so it's better to have a high leg bikini bottom on me it just looks better um so yeah go and check boho rose out because they've got great bikinis and swimming costumes as well so i'm taking a few cover-ups this one if you've seen my asos haul you would have seen already it is this cute lemon print again um dress it's got a little frill at the bottom bardo style top and yeah it'll just be great to chuck over my bikini for going to the like supermarket anything like that with flip-flops you can't go wrong and then I've got this one from misguided which I've had for a few years I think they do similar dresses on there still though it's super bright by the way so it's this really cute dress very colorful 
lovely flowers on the front um so it's like a sort of um i don't know what you call it sort of like a loose top over the dress bit if that makes sense so this bit's like loose um and it goes in at the waist and then it flares at the bottom and yeah it's just super cute if i get a tan that's if i get a tan because i'm pale as a milk bottle but it's fine <laughs> um but yeah love it and it's from misguided if i haven't already said probably have my brain's gone again but um yeah it was a few years ago so i don't know if they'll have that particular one but they might have similar ones um and then this is from debenhams and the brand is called floozy and it's this really nice cover up play suit and it's got like has it got oh i thought it was bees but no they're ladybirds so it's got like daisies and then like little pink ladybirds and it's really nice um it's got a little cut out back as well and a little bow just really nice to chuck on over your swimming costume or bikini and then oh that was it I thought that was, no i thought there was something else but it's my pajamas <laughs> but i might as well just show you my pajamas so obviously i'm going to disney world i had to pick a disney pajama set and there's no contest to be honest because my favorite film is the lion king so it had to be these simba pajamas from primark love these so it's got simba on the front just like a baggy top and then leggings with simba also on it black and white i'll show you the print primark just do amazing disney stuff by the way if you're looking for affordable disney stuff primark is the one but yeah the lion king is my favorite film who else loves the lion king because i do okay so let me show you some of the disney bits that i'm taking with me now obviously if you're going to disney world you have to take some mini ears it's a given obviously um so let me show you which one i've got so i've got these classic mini ears that i've got like 10 years ago but how cute are they a classic but a goodie i think um so this is like sort of a mesh material it's sparkly i don't know if you can see it in the camera and then black sequin ears and yeah i just love them oh i'm so excited to go um and then i got these last year when i went in september to disney world and these are so cute oh, i just love these oh i can't wait to wear them <laughs> Oh, um, obviously I'm wearing them now, but I mean in the parks. Um, so these ones, I don't know, what they look, they're a bit more padded than the other ones, but it's sort of like a grey black shimmery ear and then sort of cr crystals on the bow. I just love the bow though, because it's so like high and oh, I just wish I could live my life in Disney ears. Who else feels the same? Oh, they're just... They're just so gorge um <laughs> anyways let me show you some of the t-shirts that i'm taking as well so this one's from primark a lot of them are from primark by the way but as i said before they're just so great for like affordable disney stuff um so this is a beauty and the beast themed one and it says until the last petal falls and it's got the rose and then it's got the beauty and beast sign at the bottom super lovely i love beauty and the beast it's one of my childhood films um yeah just love that one and then this is from primark it is got mickey mouse on it's got little sequin mickey mouses on both sides plain white t-shirt beautiful um and then this is a new one i got a few weeks ago and it is stitch i love stitch and it's got a little tie at the bottom it's a more cropped t-shirt but it's like a hawaiian sort of floral print um and it's got stitch everywhere just love it oh so good that's from primark as well i don't know if i said um but that is from primark this one is from animal kingdom park and it's got the leopard print mick sorry not leopard print zebra print mickey and then it's just got disney's animal kingdom at the bottom it's such a soft material but i wonder what park i'm gonna wear this to guys hmm but yes, love it. And then, yeah, that's it for the Disney stuff. But while I'm here, let me just show you this sort of classic 
cami top from Marks and Spencers. Everyone needs a cami top in their life. Just to wear with shorts, just something really cash, can't go wrong. And then also this is from Abercrombie and Fitch, little crop top, which I can wear with some culottes, which I'll show you later. Um, it's a bit open at the back. I've had this for ages, so. But you know what, Abercrombie and Fitch do a lot of their classic, classic sort of top, so you might find something similar. Then I've also got a few other t-shirts. This one is my absolute fave because I'm obsessed with unicorns and oh my God, I just love this top from Zara. So it's similar to the Mickey one, but it's got unicorns on. Oh, look at it. Oh, look at them unicorns, they're so cute. Love it. Literally live in this top. Um, but yeah, I had to take this, just had to. Unicorns are real, guys. Unicorns are real. <laughs> so there's that one. This one's from River Island and it says, let me just look. Oh yeah. We should, actually, it's not even a Disney top, but it's a Disney saying. So it says, wish upon a star, follow your heart. And it's a little cropped tee, which is really nice with shorts. And then the stars like sequin. Yeah, very lovely, lovely material as well. And then the last of the t-shirts is this one that my friend Emma got me who's coming with us from Topshop. And it's this black with floral embroidery on the front and this is a cropped t-shirt again looks really nice with shorts so I'm definitely okay on the t-shirt front this holiday because I think I've got about nearly 10 there <laughs> oops okay it's shorts time so denim shorts wise because I love a denim shorts this one is from Levi's now I normally get my Levi shorts from a vintage shop if you're looking for classic Levi shorts. Places like Rocket in London, they do a lot of great Levi denim shorts, not too expensive. Um, also, I'm trying to think of the top of my head. What is that place called? Give me one second. Beyond Retro, that was the name. Oh my God, it completely went out of my head. Um, yeah, Beyond Retro, they do great Levi denim shorts as well, not too expensive. But yeah, you just got to kind of hunt around. Sometimes eBay as well. Actually, no, yeah, eBay is good. One of my pair of Levi's I'm gonna show you are from eBay. So yeah, but these ones are from Rocket and obviously they're Levi, if I said a hundred times. I love this color, it's like a washed out sort of light blue. Um, I've had these for like hundreds of years. They're my like go-to denim shorts and yeah. Just love them. Um, obviously, I put a belt with them because, as I said, I've got a smaller waist than I am on bottom. So, yeah, it just sort of cinches the waist in. These are from Boohoo.com. Um, Boohoo.com. I love that habit. Um, and these are a bit longer. Actually, did I cut these? No, I don't think I did, actually. But they're longer in the leg than my Levi's. And they're high, super high-waisted. And they're just a plain black denim short. Um, yeah, they're a bit washed out as well, which I like, I like that vintage look. So that's them. These ones are from eBay, as I said, and they're Levi's. I got these last year, so you might find something similar. Um, they're a little bit darker, like they're sort of like a more, they're not as light as the other ones. They're more, they are washed out, but they've got like a classic sort of, if you think of Levi's, this is the color I think of, like a classic, Levi's denim blue um and yeah love those and then that's it for denim shorts but I've got a denim skirt which is from French Connection it's got really oh I should have done the buttons up shouldn't I guys that was silly of me but basically it's got buttons going all the way down when they are done up um pockets at the back and yeah that'll look really cute on with a little off the shoulder top um and then Jersey shorts, these are from H&M. These are so comfy, I love these. They do them in like a khaki grey, blue. I don't know why I didn't go and buy more. I'm just so stupid, but these are the pink pair. Um, Sorry guys, I've just washed them, so that's why the pockets are sticking out. I should have been more prepared, shouldn't I? And um, let me just put the pockets in. There we go. And they're super stretchy. They've got like a little roll up bit at the bottom. Um, I've 
put them on my waist you could probably have them lower but I just hate things on my waist it just it doesn't look great um but yeah so they're really nice these are from Primark just a plain black shorts um with this crochet bit at the front these are like proper short though so I'd only probably wear them around the villa and um over a bikini I don't think I'll be wearing them to the park because they're a bit too booty riding as I shall say um and then lastly are these cycling shorts I don't know who I am I think I'm Courtney Kardashian or something but I just wanted to try this style because I've seen so many people in these cycling shorts they just look so good um two pounds for Primark I mean come on now you can't go wrong two pounds so I'm gonna wear these with my bum bag oh my god I'm gonna look so 80s guys um with my bum bag um and then I've also got like a t-shirt to wear a bit which I'll show you in a minute these are the shoes that I'm taking so I've got these sandals from Primark so they're like a rose gold color with studs on the front they look a bit worn in guys I'm not gonna lie but I've worn them so much because they are so comfy um they'll be great for the parks like I could literally stay in them all day and have no problems so yeah that's them and then I've got these sandals from Aldo which I got in Orlando last year and they've got these gold crystals on the front and then brown tan colour around the rest of the shoe um, they'll be great I think for like the evenings they're a bit more dressy oh my god look <laughs> oh my god this is so embarrassing look how filthy these are but these are my Havianas I don't know how you pronounce it Havianas Havianas I don't know um <laughs> you can tell I've lived in these oh my god they're so horrible but they're so comfy and they they're like a, they were a gold color and then they've got these crystals on the front oh my god I'm so embarrassed they, are, they just look awful but obviously you won't see them the bottom with my uh, feet in them and then these are from Primark I got these a few years ago actually but I just love the sort of flowers on them and they've got little crystals as well inside like a peachy color and yeah they're really pretty they'll be nice in the evenings i then got my sort of birkenstock style flip-flop from jones's the boot makers i think they're called um and i just love the gold on this like a metallic gold and crystals there's a crystal theme going on here guys you obviously know that i love crystals um sorry guys they're a little bit dirty as well but what are you gonna do and then these are super fresh these are practically brand new I've had these for only a couple months and they are my vans my classic vans which I will wear to the airport I think and then I might wear them to the parks maybe not in the day because my feet will be so hot maybe in the evenings we go and watch a show so yeah that is all my shoes so let me just show you some of the bits that are hanging on my door so I've got this sort of cover up for more dressy occasions even though it's Orlando I probably won't dress up that much but if we go to anywhere nice for dinner I can chuck this on because Americans love aircon guys obviously we need it in the Florida heat but sometimes it's so cold in restaurants and oh my god I can't bear it so I have to wear a jacket so this will just be nice just to chuck on and then my denim jacket which is Levi's I think I got this from Rocket um, Vintage. I got a bargain on this, if I remember. I remember there was no price on it and I haggled and I was like, can I have it for like 20 quid? And she was like, all right then. 20 quid for a vintage v Levi's jacket. I mean, bargain. Um, so they're the two jackets I'm taking. And then I've got this really cute jumpsuit from um, Warehouse. I was gonna say Oasis, not Oasis, Warehouse. I got this last year it's got strawberries on it um, and it's like a navy blue background and it's like a sort of um, drawstring waist really comfy um really cooling if that's the word like you don't feel hot in that jumpsuit it's like a really cool material so yeah that'd be really nice when it's a really hot day this is a t-shirt dress but I think what I'm gonna do is pin this lace bit at the bottom to make it more of a t-shirt, uh, like a shorter t-shirt and then wear it with my cycling shorts. So this is from River Island and yeah, I just love it. It's like sort of a band tee vibe. 
love that. And then I've got these, God, I've got so many tops, guys. I just realized, but I like options. I'm just one of those, I can't pack light. I'm just, yeah, it's just not me. Um, so then let me just show you this top. This is from H&M. I got, I get so many compliments. Last time I went to Florida, everyone was like, Where you, where's your top from? Did you make it? Um, no, it's actually from H&M, guys. Um, so it's like a crochet, woolly material top. Very festival vibes. But yeah, just with like, you can wear a bikini top underneath. And yeah, it's just really nice. I love it. So that's that one. And then I've got two off the shoulder tops. This is from Pretty Little Thing. More lemons, <laughs> um, but it's just so pretty and it will look really nice with that denim skirt, I think. And even this one, this one's from Topshop. Um, and yeah, I just love the light blue color. And then the flowers on it, really lovely print. So that's those bits that are hanging on there. I've then got all my sort of appliances down here. So I've got my curlers, I've got my GHDs, I've got my adapter, I've also got my um, charger that I can take around in my handbag, I'm just charging at the moment. I've then got this to use like as a selfie stick but obviously I can't take them in the park because you're not allowed selfie sticks in the park but I can use that in the villa and um, that's just to go on my camera and then obviously you've got my charger in there at the moment but i'll be taking that with me so a little tip from charlotte keep some of your clothes on hangers and then put it in the dress bag i do this all the time and then you know when you go to a hotel or a villa in my case and you're like oh i haven't got enough hangers just keep them on the hangers i mainly keep the sort of going out stuff on hangers or stuff that is going to crease easily it is just such a good idea and then all you've got to do like you know that other compartment there this is going in there and then all you've got to do is just fold it like this look when it goes in the suitcase you just do that that and then it just goes in the suitcase so easily and then all you've got to do is unzip it hang it in the wardrobe easy so let me show you what was in that dress bag so i've got this oh i love this i can't wait to wear this um this is from oasis and it is a two-piece i can't bother to get the shorts out guys but you get the idea and it's like a lime print two piece the shorts have got like a belt attached and it looks so nice on I actually might wear this to the parks maybe one evening so that's that one and then i've got these they're like clot style look at the bottom it's so pretty it's got butterflies it's like crochet butterflies at the bottom flowers on the top and then the waistband is like drawstring and these are from french connection they're a little bit um, washed out though, but I love them, so I'm just gonna take them. Um, this is from French Connection as well. This really cute play suit. If you watch my weekly vlogs, you've already, already seen this. It's got a little frill at the bottom. Really pretty print. Yeah, that's that. And then this is from Zara. Sorry, I had to think there. And this is from Zara and this is a play suit. I'll just scroll down so you can see. So it's got this little baggy bit over the top and then shorts at the bottom. It's like a creamy color. And then at the back, it's got this open bit at the back, which looks really nice. And then obviously a zip at the back as well. So that's that. Next is this dress from Topshop. I've had this for millions of years um, and it's this sort of lacy material so pretty and then it's like a 70s style bell sleeve and then yeah goes in the waist flares at the bottom just super lovely i'm gonna hang these up here so you can see better because you probably couldn't see the other bits as well but jumpsuit wise I've got this from oh, Debenhams. Yeah, it's from Debenhams. I think it's the Red Herring range from Debenhams. Um, and it's this really pretty full print jumpsuit. Clot styles at the bottom. Really comfy. Can't go wrong. And then, let me show you the next one. 
which is this one from Primark. It's like a um, palm leaf print. God, it makes your eyes go funny though. <laughs> um, yeah, the black and white bit is a bit crazy to look at, but it is really nice. Um, and then it's got a belt around the middle. If I can show you. Belt around the middle, and then again, culotte style bottoms, because I love a culotte style um, jumpsuit. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to sort these hangers out. Um, right. And then lastly, is this really pretty one from Zara black and then pink flowers on god I, i've got a flower obsession as well i think <laughs> um it's got a belt around the middle and then again culotte style bottom but it's got a bit of a slit at the bottom but it's very sort of um i don't know what you call it very asian um fit you know if you think of i can't think what they're called um oh there is there is a word for this type of jumpsuit but i can't think off the top of my head but you know what i mean it's that sort of asian um looking sort of geisha style top that is what i'm trying to say <laughs> um and it just looks really nice on so yeah i definitely yeah i think i've got maybe too many clothes oh dear so let me just show you this really beautiful travel case from Primark well triple travel case should I say so it's Beauty and the Beast themed so this I'm going to use for my makeup I've only got a little bit in there because I need to sort that out but it's got the rose from Beauty and the Beast on the front and it's like a gold rose oh my god it's so pretty and it's really big so it'll fit a lot of stuff in and then you also get this with it as well which I'm going to put my jewellery in which I'll show you in a second and um, it's got bell on the front and it says Beauty and the Beast it's just really pretty and then you get this really cute coin purse with chip on the front from there. I might see if I can p fit my hair bands in there because I've already got a coin purse for Disney. So yeah, I might just see if I can put some like clips in there and head, not headbands, sorry, hairbands. Yeah, it's just really cute. So I've got some of my jewellery laying out. A lot of chokers because I love a choker. Um, this one's from Topshop, just a plain black velvet one. This is a set from Zara. Gold stars. And then a gold star with a black choker. Love that one. This one, a family friend bought me. But it's really different. It's a choker, but it's just, yeah, it looks really cool. So it like crosses over at the front and then you just, I don't know if I'm going to do it with one hand. You do that to undo it. Yeah. I can't do it with one hand. Uh, come on, I can do it, I can do it, yes. Um, so that's how it works. <laughs> so that's that. I then got this from Topshop, it's a bit of a thicker choker. It's got stars on some stamps. And then I've got this lacy one from New Look. And then this is so pretty, and this is going to be worn at the parks. And it is from Topshop, I had this years ago. It's got Cinderella's carriage on the front with the horses and then this little bow and then the slipper as well. So pretty. And then I've also got my earrings and my um, bracelets and rings in here. I like to put them in these little bags so they don't all get tangled up together. Um, it's just a little hack for you guys if you don't already do that. It's just so much easier. Um, this is just like a rituals bag. I think I got this on the flight and they're just really handy to have. Um, so yeah, that's all my jewellery and it's going to go in there with some hair stuff as well. Another little tip, anything that's going to explode in your suitcase, put it in a lunchbox because it's just so handy and everyone has a lunchbox at home and you just know it's not going to get squashed and explode so that's where i put all my explodable things so like creams uh, shampoo conditioner any sort of face stuff i put it in here because then i know it's completely safe and if it does it like leak or anything like that it's just going to stay in the lunchbox and it's not going to go all over my clothes so the last thing i wanted to show you because i just had to tell everybody about this it is life-changing this product and it is this Australian Gold Tan Accelerator Cream. If you are pale like me and you burn easily, 
you need this in your life literally last time i used this on holiday i did not burn um god i hope i don't jinx myself <laughs> please don't burn um so basically what you do with this is you put it on a week before you go away so you just use it as a body cream it smells so good as well it smells like if you're from the uk it smells like cow pole like oh it just it smells so lovely um and you just use it as a normal um cream so when you're out of the shower put this on put it everywhere and then yeah a week before you go away and then when you're on holiday put this on as a moisturizer and then put your sun cream on afterwards because it's not a sun cream guys um so put this on and then sun cream like half an hour later and literally the results are outstanding you actually tan easier as well using this product because it's meant to bring the melanin out of your skin and oh my god i'm not even joking life changer i got this from amazon it was like 13 pounds not even that expensive get this in your life get this in your life okay this is 100 percent the last thing i'm going to show you well two things that was a lie. Um, I just want to show you my sunglasses that I'm taking. So I've got two pairs to take, an expensive pair and a cheap pair. So my cheap pair are from H&M. These are recently, so you might be able to still get them. And they're like a circular, circular sort of 70s hippie vibe. Um, and I just love them because they change colour. They go pink and then they go blue. Pink, blue, pink, blue. Um, oh, like um, Sim Beauty. <laughs> yeah, love those. I don't think they're only like six ninety nine, really cheap. And then my expensive pair are from Prada, darling. Obviously, um, are you joking? <laughs> and love these. I've had these for years. They've got like crystals on the top, just plain black, sort of a cat eye vibe. And yeah, just living for a pair of sunnies and just sitting in the sun. Ah, oh, not long now. So that is everything guys, even the kitchen sink too, because I seem to be taking my whole life with me. <laughs> but I just like options, I can't help myself. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning into this packing video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Um, definitely subscribe if you wanna see my travel vlog of my holiday, because that'll be coming in a couple weeks time. So tune in to that. So in the words of Mickey Mouse, I will see you all really soon, bye.